I have my three and three quarter blade and I'm gonna put it on my clipper. I wanna make sure my clipper is turned on before I put the clipper on, before I put the blade on. If it's not turned on, you're in, in jeopardy of uh, breaking the tongue of the clipper off. So you wanna make sure that that's on. Just snap it in, just like that. And we need a little bit more power to get through uh, this gentleman's hair. So I wanna go really slow. And watch what happens when I go really slow with the clipper. We're cutting as we're taking an imaginary line straight up in the air and we're avoiding a line of demarcation or a, weight, a very heavy weight line. So that's going to take us no time at all to blend out. So that's one of my biggest things cutting hair and it, which has saved me a tremendous amount of time. I mean literally you can, you can shave 15 minutes off your haircut by avoiding the blending step. So if you take a close look at my wrist, there's my wrist is absolutely still. I'm not moving it at all. I'm not, I'm not worried about doing this to get the hair off the clipper or anything. Any sudden movement with that clipper is going to create some kind of weight line or, or line of demarcation. So his hair is a little heavier in the back. We're going to have a little bit of blending work to do there, not much. I want to give myself, I want to give myself room. I don't want to go up so high where it's going to, where it's going to stand up. And my feet are in the same spot. So if you notice, the chair is just spinning. You don't even have to move. As I said before in the opening, this gentleman's hair goes straight forward. So we have to come slightly against the grain when we're cutting it so it feeds into the blade properly. So if you notice I'm cutting as we're pulling away also. Okay so that, that finishes off the, the first part of that step so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down two blade sizes and work around the perimeter of the haircut to, to start on the outline. So I'm going to take the uh, three and three quarter blade off and we're going to brush the clipper off, we're going to brush the blade off. So I want that clipper blade nice and clean for the next customer. So now we're going to drop down to a number two blade which is a quarter of an inch Again, make sure that clipper is turned on when we snap it shut. And we're going to start around the outline of the haircut. And we're going to start to uh, taper, do like a one, I call this a one finger taper around the outline of the haircut. And in the back, since, uh, as I said before, since uh, he's a professional working at a bank, we want to leave a nice low natural hairline. I don't want to do like a real deep three finger taper up underneath the occipital bone. I want to do just a, a natural a natural hairline that's faded out right on the hairline. I don't want to go up the natural hairline in this case. If I was doing a real tight fade or bald fade or something different, then then we could you know taper it in real deep. And in general, I don't like to do square backs, I don't like to make a straight line. I just, for personal preference, I think it looks unnatural. I like to do these, uh, I like to do these nice natural low hairlines, especially for the professionals. Okay, so when we finish up with the two blade, the next step is we're going to take a smaller, after I brush my blade off, we're going to take a smaller clipper comb and my one and a half blade which cuts and blends at the same time and we're going to touch up this this area right here around the blend. So I'm going to leave that comb parallel to the side of the head. I'm going to use the tip of the blade and just run it across the comb and that's going to cut and blend at the same time. So basically I'm just extending the imaginary line that I used with the three and three quarter blade 
or the half, you know, that, that half inch fade on the side. And I like, uh, there's a bunch of different brands that make these clipper combs with nice thin teeth. And they're, they're flat, there's no groove, so there's nothing to catch on. Alright, so we're blending that in nice and neat now. These are the tougher ones when you have really thick hair and it grows straight forward. So just take your time, that comb moves slow, and the clipper moves fast. Just like when we did our scissor over comb work. Comb moves slow, the scissor moves fast. Now while we have the shorter blade on there, I can further fade out the neckline. And he's got a nice thick hairline so it looks really good with a taper. So as I'm turning the chair back around, I'm doing two things at once. I'm doing the I'm doing the taper, and we're blending out the back there. All right, now we're blending the opposite side. So again, the one and a half blade. It cuts and blends at the same time. So right now I have the heel of the blade flat on the comb to do the initial blend underneath. And then I adjust my grip from an overhand grip. My shoulder's up too high to an underhand grip. So now my body is back in alignment. I take the tip of the blade and I run it across a few times. So now the bulk of our haircut is done. We're going to switch to our adjustable clipper and finish the... Um, uh, what I like to call the semi-finish of the haircut, that, uh, that taper before we pick up our trimmers and line them off.